Hi guys and welcome to Grainy Gaming. Today I am showing you a preview of Aatrox the Darkened Blade, the new champion on League of Legends. Nobody understands me. They called my work a hack job. 30 seconds this until minions no spawn. Fear massacre. This is my masterwork. I am as timeless as war. Fight and be remembered, or die and be forgotten. Fight as a hero, or die as a coward. First, you see the enemy Aatrox do his third skill, Blades of Torment. This ability deals magic damage to all enemies it hits and slows them by 40% for up to 2.75 seconds at max level. This is the first skill, Dark Flight. Every enemy hit will receive physical damage and all within the inner circle will be knocked up in the air for one second and it costs 10% of the current health. A portion of all health lost by using abilities is put into passive Blood Well. When taking fatal damage you become invulnerable for a second and a half in which you regain the health stored in this well. The well doesn't get filled when on cooldown. And my personal favorite is the second ability. It toggles your main attack and when you select Bloodthirst you heal yourself with every third attack it hits and this is tripled when you fall below half health. If Blood Price is selected, every third attack deals extra physical damage but also you lose a bit of health. Now it's time for the ultimate, Massacre, dealing magic damage to all enemy champions in range and when cast the attack range is increased. Also for the next 12 seconds he gains maximum health and attack speed which both are increased even further for every champion it hits. With the runes I take quintessences of attack damage, marks of attack damage, seals of armor and magic resist glyphs. If you plan for a longer game Take scaling runes. Also you can switch the marks for attack speed runes to get even greater attack speed. But beware that you don't exceed the cap of 2.5 when using your ultimate. For masteries I recommend 21 points in offense and 9 points in defense. In offense you focus attack damage and in defense you prefer the max health points. The 4 points used in armor and magic resist can be switched around in how you prefer it. Now let's start talking about the items. If you want sustain, you take boots of speed and 3 health potions. If you want more damage, you take your long sword first and build it into a vampiric scepter, but take your boots of speed right after that. In the early game, you want to start to build your vampiric scepter for that lifesteal, build your boots of speed into berserker greaves, and then build your zeal and the various blade for money. When you have all these items, you should take Infinity Edge next and Phantom Dancer. You can switch the order of T2's items around if you so desire. Next you get your Bloodthirster. At the end you get your Blade of Ruined King and final item you take Zephyr for extra movement speed and tenacity passive. Also if you want you can switch Zephyr for one of the following items. Warmox Armor if you want more life regeneration. Trinity Force for spellblade passive and all around damage. Static Shift to build that static charge, or Yuhumus Ghost Blade if you want more critical chance. That was it for this League of Legends Champion Preview. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, please put it in the comment section below this video. And please favorite, like, subscribe, and all that other stuff. And I'll see you next time.